Mayor and I met in calculus class as freshmen. I don't know why, but Jimbo told me he was a sophomore, so I, I thought he was an upperclassman. I didn't even realize he was in my, my class at first, and so became really good friends during that first year. In part through our studies, and in part we were both members of the track team. You know, I athletically had some challenges, and Mary was always the booster and really was my inspiration. And I think academically, I was serving that role more of support for Mary. I never dreamed that I could go out with Jim Collins, and I was so thrilled when he did ask me out sophomore year early on, and we've been together ever since. Interestingly enough, our, our calculus class had three couples that came out of it, and we're all still together, so I don't know what was in the air in our calculus class. So true example of integration, common theme in calculus. We kind of went on similar paths to Holy Cross. And it's really, I think, in part by faith that the two of us passed up two pretty good universities for Holy Cross and found each other there. What I found when I went onto the campus really was that um, the energy that you could feel. There were kids smiling and really seeming to bring a positive outlook and, and that just resonated with, I think, my internal optimism. And I think it's an optimism that was amplified during my four years there but has stayed with me uh, as a professional but also in our family life. Oh, sweet, okay. I think Holy Cross uh, works hard to instill the notion of principal leadership among its students. Holy Cross challenges you to develop your talents such that you can make a difference and really can you make the world a better place both for yourself and for others. I think Jimbo and I both share this, this calling uh, to the careers that we have and we really enjoy them because we can give back and, and it's a service. I don't feel like I just have a job. I was brought up in a family of engineers and mathematicians. And then I had two grandfathers who became disabled. I was drawn then to this idea that maybe we could use technologies to help improve function of people who lost it due to age disease uh, or injury. I'm a professor of biomedical engineering at Boston University and Harvard University. My job as a professor basically covers three different aspects. A teaching. So now it just becomes straightforward trigonometry to manipulate this. I'm now at a spot where I don't need to teach. I'm not required to teach, but I teach nonetheless because I love it. I run a research lab of about 35 people. Our lab is one of the pioneering bioengineering labs in synthetic biology. Can you do gram negative and gram positive with silver alone? Gram negative and gram positive. For sisters. My overall goal is to try to improve human health care. I am very much involved with translating our discoveries into the commercial and clinical space. So I knew, I don't know why, but since about the tender age of six that I wanted to be a doc. And so I ultimately ended up being a clinician investigator, which I am right now. And so I have a primary care practice at Massachusetts General Hospital. And I've been at Mass General now for a good 15 years or so. I also do research in men's health, prostate diseases. And more recently in the past few years, I work at this foundation very close to Mass General Hospital, which is the foundation for informed medical decision making. And our passion is all about making sure that patients are informed about their decisions in healthcare. We're able to make it work because family always comes first. We are incredibly ambitious as professionals. We work very hard. But by always setting family first, it's actually easy. We just double team things. And so Mary and I trade off on drop-offs and pickups. I think with Katie and Danny, what, what I really think we're blessed with is that we have two engaged, interesting kids. Hey, Ken. Hi, Mom. How are you doing? Hi, How was Jeff? Awesome. We went for a 3.7. 3.7? We're You want some ice cream? Oh. We've been encouraging them, even from their little kids, to always be nice, to try to help others, and if they can, to try to kind of structure their lives so that they can be in a position to help others. What did Dad talk about in school today? He, he talked about being a scientist in synthetic biology and what he did with DNA, and the class thought that it was awesome. I think it's only natural that our, that our kiddos enjoy sports, and, and they're the ones getting us out there now. We try to get out and play with the kids whenever possible, whether it's basketball or go for a family run. I feel blessed that at Holy Cross I, I met a classmate who became a best friend and then uh, my husband and, and companion. Yeah, I, I think it's really been just a fun blur. When you think of all the years we've been together, uh, it's remarkable of all the things that have happened and yet it seems like we were right. just on the campus of Holy Cross.